This is the Music History Today podcast for October 11th. On today's show, Saturday Night Live debuts, Lionel Richie Can't Slow Down, and Sarah McLaughlin debuts. First up, though, on this date in 1938, Louis Armstrong married his wife, Alpha Smith. In 1939, Coleman Hawkins recorded the song Body and Soul. In 1967, Yoko Ono opened her art exhibit Yoko Plus Me in London, England. The me was John Lennon. In 1969, Muddy Waters was involved in a car accident that left three people dead. In 1973, Elvis Presley's divorce from Priscilla Presley was finalized. In 1975, the first episode of Saturday Night Live premiered. From a musical standpoint, the guests were Janice Ian and Billy Preston. In 1981, the Rolling Stones played in Minneapolis, Minnesota. That's not such a big deal, except that their opening act was an up-and-coming artist by the name of Prince. In 1986, Janet and Michael Jackson became the first siblings to have number one solo singles, as Janet's song, When I Think of You, hit number one. Michael had already had a bunch of number one songs by then. In 1987, Joe Cocker married his wife, Pam Baker. In 2003, Justin Timberlake did both hosting and musical guest starring duties on Saturday Night Live for the first time. In 2004, Bruce Springsteen and the Dave Matthews Band were among the performers at the last Vote for Change concert. In 2006, Justin Hawkins left the band The Darkness. In 2013, Lady Gaga made her movie debut in the movie Machete Kills with Danny Trejo. Great movie, by the way. And in 2018, Kanye West went to the White House to meet with then-President Donald Trump for the signing of the Music Modernization Act, which, among other things, allowed royalties to be given for songs that were written before 1972. In theater, in 1948, the Broadway show Love Life opened, and on that same day, the musical Where's Charlie opened on Broadway. In 1954, the musical On Your Toes opened on Broadway. In 1958, the Broadway show Goldilocks premiered, and in 1979, the revival of the musical The Most Happy Fella opened on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on October 11th, in 1976, Mel Tillis was among the big winners at the Country Music Association Awards. In 1982, Willie Nelson and Ricky Skaggs were among the big winners at the Country Music Association Awards. In 2016, Rod Stewart was knighted at Buckingham Palace. And in 2018, the Burgett Nilsson Million Dollar Prize went to opera singer Nina Stem. Bridget Nielsen, not to be confused with 80s actress Bridget Nielsen. Albums that were released on October 11th include in 1957 when Johnny Cash released Johnny Cash with his hot and blue guitar. In 1972, Santana released Caravan Sarai. In 1974, Manfred Mann's Earth Band released The Good Earth and Billy Joel released Street Life Serenade. In 1976, Donna Summer released Four Seasons of Love, and Hot Tuna released Hop Corv. In 1977, Daryl Hall and John Oates released Beauty on a Back Street, and Kansas released Point of No Return. In 1978, Billy Joel released 52nd Street. In 1983, Lionel Richie released Can't Slow Down, which became a huge hit. In 1985, Rush released Power Windows. Also on that same day, Love and Rockets released Seventh Dream of Teenage Heaven and Simply Red released Picture Book. In 1988, Ministry released The Land of Rape and Honey. The Pet Shop Boys released Introspective. And Sarah McLaughlin released her debut album, Touch. In 1990, Neil Young and Crazy Horse released Ragged Glory. In 1993, Jackson Brown released I'm Alive. And Bonnie Tyler released Silhouette in Red. In 1994, Korn released their self-titled album. In 1995, Great White Sea released Up. In 1999, the Pet Shop Boys released Nightlife. And Children of Bodom released Tokyo Warhearts. 
In 2001, Nick Lowe released The Convincer. In 2004, Duran Duran released Astronaut. In 2005, Jackson Brown released Solo Acoustic Volume 1. And in 2011, Evanescence released their self-titled album and Judas Priest released The Chosen Few. Singles that were released in the UK on October 11th include in 1963 when Martha and the Vandellas released Heat Wave. In 1968, the Bonzo Dog Band released I'm the Urban Spaceman. And in 1974, Queen released Killer Queen. Meanwhile in America, in 1971, Nilsson released and Without You and John Lennon released his classic Imagine. In 1980, Cool and the Gang released Celebration. In uh, 1985, the Thompson Twins released King for a Day. In 1992, Madonna released Erotica. In 2010, Big Time Rush released Count On You. In 2012, The Rolling Stones released Doom and Gloom. In 2014, Halsey released Hurricane. In 2018, Bad Bunny and Drake released M.I.A. And in 2019, Harry Styles released Lights Up. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on October 11th include rapper Cardi B, singer Daryl Hall of Daryl Hall and John Oates, John Moss of Culture Club, drummer Art Blakey, drummer Billy Higgins, country music singer Dottie West, country music singer Gene Watson, rapper MC Light, Greg Douglas, and Gary Malibur of the Steve Miller Band, Andrew Woolfolk of Earth, Wind, and Fire, Al Atkins of Judas Priest, Blair Cunningham of Haircut 100, Petra Hayden of The Rentals, Mike Smith of Limp Biscuit, Scott Johnson of The Gin Blossoms, George McCorkle of The Marshall Tucker Band, Andy McCoy of Hanoi Rocks, rapper Fora, Henry Lau of Super Junior M, and singer Amir Diab. Artists who unfortunately passed away on October 11th include the organist known as the English Mozart, Samuel Wesley, passed away in 1837 at the age of 71. Composer Anton Bruckner passed away in 1896 at the age of 72. Organist Leon Bowman passed away in 1897 at the age of 35. Country music singer Tex Williams passed away from cancer in 1985 at the age of 68. Opera singer Jess Thomas passed away in 1993 at the age of 66. Folk music singer Andy Stewart passed away in 1993 at the age of 59. Singer Renato Russo of Aborto Electro passed away in 1996 at the age of 36. Jazz pianist Johnny Costa passed away in 1996 at the age of 74. Werner Von Trapp of the famous Von Trapp family singers, who were of course from Sound of Music fame, passed away in 2007 at the age of 91. The orchestra leader for the Kate Smith Show, Neil Hefty, passed away in 2008 at the age of 85. Harmonica player for Muddy Waters Band, Mojo Buford, passed away in 2011 at the age of 82. Singer Wadi El Safi passed away in 2013 at the age of 91. Cellist Matt Rondin passed away in 2014 at the age of 54. Album cover art director John Berg passed away in 2015 at the age of 83. Saxophonist Steve Mackey passed away in 2015 at the age of 66. Saxophonist Kedri Gopanath passed away in 2019 at the age of 69. And multi-instrumentalist for the Philip Glass Ensemble from 1968 to 2019, John Gibson passed away in 2020 at the age of 80. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is October 12th, when in 1978, Sid Vicious was arrested for the murder of his girlfriend, Nancy Spungen. Music 